Hi, traveller, and welcome to Discovery Tour Viking Age. Just like the brave Scandinavians who left their homes on longships in search of new horizons, a quest for knowledge and a promise of adventure awaits you. For three centuries, adventurers set sail in search of trade, land, and sometimes plunder, changing the world forever in ways that can still be felt today. We call these adventurers Vikings. Some remember them merely as brutal warriors and merciless conquerors. But there is much more to be learned about their rich and complex culture. History will come alive for you through the eyes of those who lived it. Norse merchants looking to make their fortune an Anglo-Saxon monk in search of his life's meaning, and even King Alfred himself. You will follow their deeds, both great and small, as they navigate their eventful time in places known today as England and Norway. But fear not, Discovery Tour Viking Age is a safe, combat-free experience that you can enjoy at your own pace and in your own time. Tapping into the years of research of the Assassin's Creed Valhalla team, its content has been crafted in close partnership with renowned historians and academics. On behalf of the entire development team, we hope you enjoy Discovery Tour Viking Age. May the seas be kind on your journey. Your father would be happy to come to the farm, Miss Company. You'll be off raiding for months, not years. Shorter than your trade routes, even. The farm and I will still be here when you return. And return I shall. You had better, or I'll come find you. Trick, do you have any questions for me before I leave? No. I'll take good care of Gunhilda's reputation while you're away. <laughs> I doubt she'll need help, but I'll be glad to know you're here all the same. Come, Thorstein. The market waits for no man. Coming, my love! I'm coming, Gunhilda. him, my love. He's a grown man, not an errant child.
Slaves talk, Gunilda. If he returns to his family and says we mistreated him, I might find myself in a duel. No duels until you've worked on your swordsmanship. I'm sure to get practice on this expedition with Harold. Our enemies may not fight with blunted blades, but he's promised me the children of Stavanger are far more fierce. The children who struck you as you lay sleeping then ran away laughing? You'll need to keep your wits about you if so. Stavanger, as with many cities in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, is based on an existing city, also called Stavanger. To reconstruct it, level designers and artists used maps, pictures and drawings by archaeologist Jean-Claude Golvan as references, adding alterations for gameplay purposes. While not all the towns resembled Golvan's drawings, some iconic details helped give a Scandinavian signature to the towns and settlements of the game, easily recognisable by players. Narrow streets, docks and a salient longhouse in the distance, they all incite exploration and the need for adventure. Wolf, good morning. My mother loved the fine woolen cloak you sold me. The stitching is exquisite. Of course. My wife takes great pride in the needlework, with good reason. You must have been blessed by Heimdall, a vision so keen and so steady. Only a talented mother and a very patient husband. Give Alvik a kiss from me next time you see her. I will. Fortune guide you, friend. Just think. After a few raids, we'll have enough silver to leave this place for good. Have you not been happy here? With you, I would be happy anywhere. But Stavanger is small. Too small for the grand dreams of the shepherd girl. And why not? Even a worm may one day hold up the sky. <laughs> Come. Mikiel has promised to aid you in my affairs while I'm at sea. You'll have plenty of time to dream while I'm gone. Mikiel! It's a fine day for a little business, don't you think? Get away from here, Thorsty! I won't be seen dealing with an oathbreaker. A what? Keep your voices down. On what grounds do you base this outrageous claim? That is for you and Bjorn to discuss. I can't believe he'd betray me like this. You haven't known Mikkel that long. He has to protect his own reputation first. Not him! Bjorn! Ah, oh, he's always sniffing about your trades like a wild dog. He envies your success and wishes to take it for himself. Well, we won't let him. We've worked too hard for him to take this chance away from us now. We will not let Bjorn get away with this, I swear it!
Your! What have you done? Quality! Quality, Ella! The way this! Let us that horse to the home, yeah, man! What happened? Bring us some snail! Shut up! Wait a second! What falsehoods have you been spreading about my family's honor? Nothing but the truth. This sail your wife made, that you sold me, is as rotten as your intentions. You wish for me and my men to drown on the open ocean, where our bodies would never be found. Are you a fool? Even if I wanted to leave you stranded and sail west alone, Harold would never allow it. He would make me rescue you, and then we would all be doomed. I don't claim to understand you, Oathbreaker, but your methods are plain. I believe I'll go inform Harold of your duplicity. He should be arriving any moment now. My love, that is no work of mine. I know. This was done by a hand far coarser than yours. Bjorn is trying to sabotage my place on the expedition. You cannot let him accuse you in front of the assembly. No chieftain would ever take you on again. I will not see my parents starve because of Bjorn's lies. Then I must gather evidence and bring his falsehoods to light. I will speak with the wives to rally them to our cause, and I will pray to the Haminja for guidance. Our ancestors will give you wise counsel, I'm sure of it. I'll see you outside the assembly. If I were an impulsive oaf, why would I hide the sail? These crates came from not far. No local wares then. Tell me, did Bjorn accept any wares these past few days? Surely he did. I carried them myself. Wet and nasty they were, smelling as if they'd been stored at the water's edge. Did you happen to see what was inside? No, but it had that damp sheep smell. Wool, I suppose. Thank you, my friend. Between his Swickland roof. Quality! Quality era! The way this! That is Gunhilda's stitching. So Bjorn planned to take her sail for himself after all. I need to be more than my word against Bjorn. I'll need people to vouch for me as well. Stavanger, as with many cities in Assassin's Creed Valor.
Friends, neighbors, listen to me. Bjorn has declared me Oathbreaker, calling my good name into question. We saw the sail. It would have torn in the first gust of wind. That was a sail he bought from Notfall, carried to us in sea-soaked wood. My wife's sail he kept aside for himself, to use once he reached the open sea. I am familiar with Gunhilda's ditching. That sail was no work of her hands. What reason does Bjorn have to lie, if revealing the truth is as simple as you say? He hoped to turn Harold against me, to keep me from tomorrow's expedition, to hide the truth until I had already been exiled. If you care, for we who will travel with him, this insult cannot go unanswered. He would endanger his crew for a petty grievance. He is unworthy of command. Free men of Stavanger, hear me. We must inform the assembly. We must inform Harald Jarl. Only then will our safe return be assured. Are you with me? <laughs> The assembly is about to start. I need to find Gunhilda. I found your sail and the mark of the goods Bjorn claimed were ours. His lies are already falling apart. You've done well, but I fear what you have found may not be enough to convince the assembly. What will you do? I will demand a Manyatnater and declare my own deeds as evidence that my word holds more weight than Bjorn's. His reputation cannot compete with ours. A sound plan. I have rallied the wives to our cause and prayed to the gods. Even if you lose, my silver-tongued warrior, the women will make the assembly see reason. I see my heart beats as fiercely as ever. Go now. Reclaim our honor. Forsetti, bless me as I defend my honor. Thorstein Oathbreaker! Come to beg forgiveness with your tail between your legs. Men of the assembly, 
Bjorn claimed the sail I sold him was rotten. But I have found Gunhilda's work hidden, and the sail he claimed was mine came in sea-soaked wood from Notfall. He sought to ruin my reputation to cover up his poor trade, all so he could claim Harold's favor as his own. Thorstein, if what you say is true, Bjorn is guilty of lying, injury to your reputation, and of an arrogance that could have led to the deaths of his crew and yours. Yet he was the one to bring you before the assembly. So now you must choose. How will you defend your honor? We will have combat aplenty across the sea. I choose the Manyapnatur. Come then. My tongue is as sharp as my blade. Declare yourself worthy, if you can. I'm the finest of navigators at home on the sea. Yet the ships and the rations were handpicked by me. True, but... I was the first to be picked for this crew! And Harold sought me when he already had you. <laughs> How can he believe you are the better choice? You're playing him for a fool! You're a liar, a thief, and, and a braggart! A, a pest! My worst is still better than you at your best. <laughs> no truer words have ever been spoken. It's a shame I have to step in. It's clear that Thorstein is the one who has been wronged. It is my suggestion that Bjorn be removed from my expedition and exiled, never to return. His lands and trade goods will be forfeit, gone to pay the costs of finding another navigator with so little time to spare. No, Harald. I... Do not draw more of my wrath upon yourself. I could have named you a murderer and demanded your death. What say you, men of Stavanger? Do you accept the terms put forth by Harald Jarl? We choose exile. Exile. Exile! Then it is decided. Now come, Thorstein. We have a navigator to find.
Music is at the core of AC Valhalla's experience, defining territories and moods. To create an acoustic dichotomy between Norsemen and Angles, Norway's music borrows sounds from rituals and daily life, while England's music revolves more around the church. In total, it's five hours of music composed through the collaboration of Jesper Kud, Sarah Schachner and Einar Selvig. But the music doesn't stop there. To the uncontrollable delight of AC Black Flag fans, sea shanties were also added to AC Valhalla. They're sung as Eivor sails on the longship by none other than Einar Selvig, Skald Bragi in the game. Every detail matters when designing a main character. Personality, backstory, mannerisms. Eivor the wolf kissed must have a noticeable scar and tattoos to represent past events, beliefs and clan affiliation. A mood board was made with various references from Mad Max's Furiosa to Major Motoko Kusanagi in Ghost in the Shell which allowed concept artists to create compositions, silhouettes, shapes and concepts. Then the character modelers designed the details, hairstyles, tattoos, outfits and even leather stitching, while animators focused on body movement and facial expressions. Finally, actors Magnus Brun Nielsen and Cecily Stenspil were cast to give Eivor a voice, tailored to her or his personality. It's alive! Alive!
Even warriors get some playtime. Indeed, it seems that Vikings played board games that involved throwing small objects, such as carved wooden figures. However, the team couldn't find any clear rules for these games. But all hope wasn't lost. The developers of Singapore, Chengdu and Montreal Studios all came together to invent new rules and mocked up their prototypes in a tabletop simulator. And then probably got really angry when one of them won and the rest lost. Everyone on the team could experience and enjoy the evolving versions of the Orlog 2.0. A first physical prototype was also made using real dice that were painted over. The game of Orlog was reborn. And AC Valhalla's version of the Orlog was so loved by fans that Ubisoft partnered with Pure Arts to produce real-life Orlog sets. Send 
Even warriors get some playtime. Indeed, it seems that Vikings played board games that involved throwing small objects, such as carved wooden figures. However, the team couldn't find any clear rules for these games. But all hope wasn't lost. The developers of Singapore, Chengdu, and Montreal Studios all came together to invent new rules and mocked up their prototypes in a tabletop simulator. And then probably got really angry when one of them won and the rest lost. Everyone on the team could experience and enjoy the evolving versions of the Orlog 2.0. A first physical prototype was also made using real dice that were painted over. The game of Orlog was reborn, and AC Valhalla's version of the Orlog was so loved by fans that Ubisoft partnered with Pure Arts to produce real-life Orlog sets. Thank you. 